Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another exciting episode of Let's Play Pokemon Heart Gold version. Well guys, today we will be taking on the Ass Gym Leader. And I don't know why I'm suddenly speaking like that, sorry about that. <laughs> today we'll be taking on the Icy Gym Leader once again, and hopefully this time we'll be going home with a badge. And yes, our repels effect just wore off from last episode. Um, hmm, if we come around here. Now, I've already forgotten how to do this. Ugh. Okay guys, I'll be right back once I've remembered. There we go. Ah, oh, finally. Pokemon have many experiences, yeah, 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 we've heard you. Let's do this, let's do this thing. Even though you're the winter trainer, like my grass Pokemon are more effective against you for whatever reason. So let's do this. Need a price. Got a seal. Level 30. Mustard. Level 29. Gonna go for that magical leaf. Hopefully take out this seal. Yep. Halfway. Not too bad. Not too bad. That icy wind though. Not too good. Not too good. And so, uh, manageable. Manageable. Except our speed has fallen. Hopefully we're still faster. And no we're not. And they've saved the hell. Alrighty. Mustard, you can still do this. I still believe in you. Come on, guy. There we go, that seal is down. One down, two to go. The hail is continuing to fall, this is continuing to be buffeted by it. Okay, let's try and get a poison powder on this thing. If we can even survive one attack from it, hopefully. And no, we cannot, unfortunately. So, who should we switch into next? I believe our next opponent should, well, their next opponent should be Worcester. Alrighty, Worcester. Sludge bomb this thing, please. And please get the poison. And it does hardly anything, but it does poison, so that's good. Alrighty, that Aurora Beam is actually gonna really, really hurt. Ouch. And the hail, still. Now, can this thing be confused and poisoned? So that, that would just be great. Um, did, did I get rid of Confused Ray at some point? Did I, did I, I thought I got rid of Astonish for Sludge Bomb. Why did I get rid of Confused Ray? <sighs> That is not good. Anyway, wing attack. But this thing's faster than me, so it doesn't really matter. Oh, that is so frustrating. I'm sorry, Worcester, that's my fault. At least the poison's still gonna do its work, though, on this thing. Yep. Ready? Um. Pretty much barbecue is our only choice for it at the moment. Okay, barbecue. Amnesia, please. That's one amnesia. This thing's still being hit by its poisoning. Let's go for mud shot. And it's roasting, which will cure it of its poisoning. <sighs> Alrighty, Barbecue, you can do this. Mud shot. Lower its speed a bit. And it's got sleep talk. That ice shot. Alrighty, one more mud shot. Things will get chip damage at least. Um, I think we should go for another amnesia and then we'll heal up the uh, barbecue. Okay, Jigon's sleeping. It's using sleep talk. Can't rest while it's already sleeping, fortunately. We're gonna go for HP restore here. Super potion should do it. On, barbecue. Okay, now barbecue should be quite bulky now. With the two amnesias. And you've woken up, so sleep talk won't work on me. Thank you. Nice shot. And it's once again using Ice Shard, which is fast. And yeah, we managed to resist it quite nicely. Okay, uh, let's go for, another, go for a Surf here, see if it's any more effective than Mud Shot. Or not. Yeah, Surf's quite effective, okay. I, say, I know it says it's not very effective, but I mean damage-wise. Another Surf. Okay, I think actually Mud Shot does more for us, <laughs> based on what just happened there. Please use Rest. Yay, you used rest. Okay, now mudshot. Wish probably had a more powerful move. That could actually damage this thing more. But we left with what we left with. Another ice shard. Come on, barbecue, mudshot. Just now this thing's speed won't be able to go any lower. And please don't use rest again, that would just be so infuriating. Yes, it used rest again. Ugh. I'm loath to change Pokemon now because of the Amnesia setup. But... I think I'm going to do it anyway. This is just taking too long. Ow. 
Ouch. Uh, let's go sweet kiss, please. So it's not confused. Thank you. And let's go extra sensory. Not too much damage, unfortunately. And it steps out of its confusion already. So another sweet kiss. Ah, uh, the priority I shot, though. Custard. And uh, mayo, come on out. How do you deal with confusion against this guy? Not very well. And that Aurora Beam, that's gonna do some damage to us. Man, this thing is so tough. I'm just so under leveled for this fight, it's not even funny at the moment. Let's try reversal. Super effective, but like did a little smidgen of damage. Let's try reversal again. And it's resting, because of course it is. Can I see what his last Pokemon is? Just out of curiosity, please. Swine. That probably knows Earthquake, right? Alrighty, at least we're managing to do some damage to this Pylos Swine now. And it has a berry, because why not? <sighs> Barbecue, you're my last hope. Thank you, Barbecue, for avoiding that attack. That does some lovely damage. One more surf. Alrighty, guys, you saw that he used a hyper potion. Halfway. One more. Should do it halfway again. Thank you for avoiding that blizzard. Nice. We took down the pilot swag. Some very nice experience for Barbecue there. Sends up the dugong. Hm, you're quite the trainer. Much shot. And he's gonna use Aurora Beam. Ouch. Ouch. Okay, gonna use Amnesia here. Please don't kill Barbecue with that Aurora Beam. Ooh, that was close. Okay, he used a Hyper Potion, so it's only fair that we do. Um, here we go. Spray on Barbecue. <laughs> it's a spray on Barbecue. Go, enough of the dip dips. Okay, Jiggle keeps going for the ice shard. It's fine. Let's go for another amnesia. Well, if he keeps going for that Aurora Beam, things won't be looking so good. Okay, let's go for our matchup now. I'd say with the level that we're at, we're doing pretty well. Ready, another mud shot, another speed lowering. Although if he keeps shooting ice shards at us, it won't really matter. I think he's all out of rests actually, because usually he would have rested by now. Okay. Willow is my middle name. Willow is flexible and not easily broken. I'm not giving up yet. But your ice, you're supposed to shatter. <laughs> you should have been the grass trainer if you want to go by that standpoint. It's using rests, it wasn't all out of rests. Why? Why? It's gonna use sleep talk, isn't it? Yeah, it didn't. That's strange. Maybe it's all out of sleep talks. Has to be all out of something. So at least we get to wail on it a bit, do some damage to it. While it sleeps. Nice. And it uses rest as soon as it wakes up. Come on, this is such a drawn out battle. I'll have to edit like half of this battle out, otherwise you guys are gonna be so bored. Mm. 
No PP left. No PP left. No PP left. Ugh. Surf. Not very effective. Alrighty, what have we got left? We've got a full restore. And ether. Alrighty, I think first we're gonna use our full restore. I know I said it was a late game item, but this is important. Alrighty, his HP was restored. Jigong's using rest once again. So we're back to square one, but we have something that they don't have. We have ethers. Alrighty, barbecue. Get your mudshot ethered up. Nice. And now, do we have any battle items that I like never ever use? Um. X special. Thank you. I'm just giving barbecue all the buffs. Because I can. Because I'm tired of this overleveled nonsense. Fight, mudshot, let's go. I mean, where are there any more trainers for me to fight to train up against this guy? I mean, really. Thank you, that does nice damage now. Ouch, of course he gets a critical. It's like the game knows. He's going for the Aurora Beam there by the looks of it. Or the rest. Either way. Let's carry on going for our mudshot. That's one. Two. Three. And it uses rest again. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna also use a stat, well not a status, uh, a healer. We're gonna use the ether again on Mudshot. And we're gonna go Mudshot again, because we can. And yes, I'm speaking super fast at the moment. That's thanks to the power of editing. Speak so fast, speak so fast, speak so fast. If you can make out what I was saying there, that's awesome. Two. Three. Ugh. So many rests. I need a rest. There we go. He didn't heal. Ouch. Yes, a critical barbecue. You amazing, amazing creature, you. Oh, I have a newfound love for Quagsires. Oh, level 29. Thank you. Hmm, seems as if my luck has run out. Indeed, your overcheated level luck, whatever. I'm impressed by your prowess. With your strong will, I know you will overcome all life's obstacles. You are worthy of this badge. And we get the Glacier Badge for Price, from Price. Wow. That badge will raise the special status of Pokemon. It also lets your Pokemon use Whirlpool to get across real Whirlpools. And this, this is a gift from me. TM7. Alrighty. That TM contains Hail. Summon a hailstorm that lasts for five turns. The hailstorm damages all types except us. Guys, we did it. Well done, Quagsire. I love you so much, Barbecue. I know, you're not feeling well. You did so great out there. Oh my word. That was a, a massive struggle. Ugh. I'm sorry for that, guys, that I had to fast forward the footage there, but if I didn't, that would have taken so long for you guys. Professor L? Matthias, how are things going? I called because something weird is happening with the radio broadcasts. They were talking about Team Rocket. Matthias, do you know anything about it? Maybe Team Rocket has returned. No, that just can't be true. Sorry to bug you. Take care. Alrighty, guys. So next time, we'll be heading back to Goldenrod to check on what's going on with the radio broadcasts. But for now, 
I want to say thank you all so much for watching and for bearing with that uh, cringeworthy gym battle, but we got our badge, and that is all that matters. Thank you very much. As always, my name is Lathias. Good night, and God bless.